On October 2022, I decided to learn graphic design. And this is how everything started. Now, this video is in two parts. The first part of this video is where I'm going to show you how I became a graphic designer. And then the second part of this video is where I'm going to show you how you can become a graphic designer this year or in this particular age. Recently, there is AI and other things that will help me learn and all that so every skill that you have to learn right now is completely different from learning it in the previous years so i'm going to show you how you can learn it this year so if you want to become a graphic designer that this video is for you because i'm going to show you the things you need to learn and the things that you don't need to focus on so that you can speed up your learning to master it very fast and easy so in 2022 i was a fresh shs graduate and then i was looking online searching everywhere how I can make money online. I passed on one YouTube channel. The name is Earth Hustle. And then the guy was like, you can learn affiliate marketing. You can learn a whole lot of things. But one thing that he said that I got most interested in is graphic design. So he was like, you can learn graphic design in six months and monetize it with just your smartphone without buying any course. Like all these things, he said it. And then I was like, wow, that is very easy. So then I decided to dive deep into that and then learn but when i went to youtube to search for how to become a graphic designer in six months i didn't find the kind of video that he was talking about so what i did was that i was in a particular group and then that group somebody dropped a name that if you want to learn a graphic design follow this link and blah 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 so i joined that link and then oh they started teaching us some basics and all that and then they shared some file with us adobe that time it was adobe photoshop cs6 i downloaded that cs6 and then i started something they were teaching us a whole lot of basic stuff and then it was very good and at some point they said oh now they've taught us enough of basic things so they want to teach us some advanced stuff so they were like okay for the advanced stuff they are not going to teach it for free everyone in the group has to pay if you want to learn the advanced stuff so they created another group for the advanced people if you pay they will add your name to the advanced page that time charlie i was free book I couldn't even afford what they were asking for. So I did something smart over there that I'm going to show you. But before then, I launched a package some months ago. That package contains PSD files, mockups, textures, 3D test effects, and a whole lot of design resources. You can check the first link in the description for more information about that. And then, as I'm speaking to you right now, there's 60% discount. You can check it out now. So what I did was that I wrote down the things that they were going to learn. So if they were going to tackle something like design principles, I wrote design principles down. I wrote, let's say, chest fly design. All the things that they were going to talk about, I wrote them down step by step. Then what I did was that I went to YouTube and then if today I will search for design principles, I watched a lot of videos about design principles and then make sure that I understand that particular topic. So on the second list, then I type it in, let's say, how to design chest fly. And then I will see some videos about it. I will learn and learn and learn and learn and understand. So I did that to go through all the things that I wrote down. So that gave me a head start. So during this search and all that, I came across YouTube channels like Citizen Skateboarty, Saptory Graphics, and the added. For Citizen Skateboarty, he is the main guy who made me laugh to design. We download his videos, watch them over and over again, practice, download resource files, and then work on them morning afternoon evening so i use this strategy for months and then i improve one thing that boosted my confidence in designing and i mean putting me in a level that i would say yes i can design is a package that i bought from one nigerian it was like the package contains some phd files contains some templates and all that and i bought that part it was some way like it wasn't user friendly and then it wasn't that much of high quality but for my own that i talked about earlier the phd files and the template over there are of much quality you can check it out yourself that one that i bought from the guy that was not even in high quality I was able to use it and uh, the resources that was in there or that i was able to use them to really master and understand some of the things that's going to add to your designs when you are designing it really helped me a lot so after all these things all that i was doing was practicing 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 every single day so basically this is how i learned graphic design it was very rough for me but this is how i would advise you if you really want to learn graphic design this year if you really want to learn graphic design this year you have to start from the very basic that is understanding some design principles like hierarchy, proximity, balance, color theory, and all these things. If you really understand all these things, these are the basic simple stuff that you have to build up on. So if you have the strong foundation, you will not have that much of problem moving forward. I will leave links in the description to videos that you can master all these design principles. But if you want me to make videos on them personally for you, let me know in the comment section now.
after understanding the basics of Pegabi design, what you have to do is that you have to decide on the particular tool that you want to use. If I talk about tools, the tools that I'm talking about is that are you going to use your mobile phone or your PC or your laptop? Many of you may say, I don't have a laptop, I don't have a computer and all that. You can still learn graphic design with your smartphone. YouTube channels like Imniski, I will leave a link in the description, can help you learn graphic design with just your smartphone. But if you have the money or if you have the PC or if you have a laptop, that will be very helpful for you because you use the best softwares, learn and master it very well. Now, if you have a PC or a laptop, I recommend you start with Photoshop, maybe Photoshop. Why am I saying that Photoshop can be used for photo manipulation, photo editing, color design, even logo design. It is not advisable, but you can start something in Photoshop and advance it in other subjects. Like Photoshop is all around. So if you are able to learn and master the basics of Photoshop, you can easily learn the other software. So first of all, start with Photoshop, master Photoshop before you move on to any other business up to you. I will leave link to videos where you can learn and master Photoshop basics in the description. You can check them down below. You can check the link down below and join my Telegram community or my Telegram channel where you can download Photoshop completely for free. If you experience any issue or any problem in solving the order, drop that in my Telegram community now check that code. Now that you have the tool that you are going to use that mobile phone or laptop and then you have your software that are going to use and you have some basic knowledge in design what you need to do is that you have to practice how to use the tool that is the photoshop very well and practice the application of some design principles how to practice some flyer designs some logo designs youtube can help you do all these things if you want to learn maybe how to design church flyer on my channel like this you can search how to design church flyers you can see a step-by-step -step video on how to design flyers completely from scratch you can start from a plain canvas all the way to a complete design so watching those videos we don't have to speed us you have to understand every second of it and if you watch a lot of those videos you master the designs and you can be able to do well with any other design that you try to do anything that you want to do let's say you want to design a book cover what you have to do is that you just go on youtube search book cover design you're going to get a video on that that are some. So you can really learn graphic design and Photoshop just with your YouTube. Just search whatever thing that you want to learn and that. But I'll be uploading videos like that on this channel. So all that you have to do is that you subscribe to the channel and also turn on that notification so that when I upload the videos on that, you'll be the first person to be notified. So as you are learning and then practicing Photoshop and then graphic design using YouTube and all that, you have to also learn how to use AI in your design. So in every industry, AI has something to help you with. As you go on YouTube, search how to use AI to do this, how to use AI to do that. I will do video on that for you. So as I said, subscribe to this channel and turn on that notification so that when I upload that video, you are not going to miss it. Yes, so now you have been practicing, you have been using some AI and all that. Now, how do you get clients or let's say, how do you get exposure? So the best way or let's say the cheapest way you can get exposure and then you can get some experience in this graphic design thing is that like it is very hard but design for free. You know that friend, you know that small business that needs some graphic design help. Go to them, tell them I want to help you with my graphic design skills. I can design your flyers for you. I can do this for you. I can do that for you. What you go there to do is that you go and ask them to do something for them for free. And then after you have done it for them for free, you use their work to look for a page job. So you can put their work on your portfolio and all that and that's going to help you to get a job. So one thing that people fail to do is that they put it in their mind that, oh, once I am doing it for free for this friend, once I am doing it for free for this family member of mine, then I'm not going to put in my all. Why? Because he's not going to pay me. But one thing is that if you put in your all, that means you are coming up to your best. I mean, your portfolio has to be full of your best works. When you design for free for friends, make sure you read with all your heart and with all your mind. It is written in scriptures that whatever that your hands finds to do, do it with all your heart and then with all your mind and do it as if you are doing it unto the Lord. So make sure that you do it, you go in with your A game any other time. Once you accept to do something, unless you say no, if you accept to do it, do it very well because that is you in your flyer like that is representing you and if it is very good enough your friend will tell the other friend who is running an agenda and wants someone to design a flyer for you one thing is that you can have a friend and then someone will ask that friend that you have that oh i need a graphic designer if you are not good enough your friend will not recommend you i mean you have to be very good in what you are doing or you can get a referral from your friend but your friend cannot just recommend you because you are his friend make sure you learn master and give out your best at all times so as you are designing for your friends and then also gaining some experience and all that you have to be putting your works also on your social media platforms like whatsapp 
Instagram and all that. Just be posting, describing how you transform IBS into design and how you did some design, the, the challenges and all that. All these things will put some trust on the work and then your clients will trust you when they are giving the work to you. And then if you get one client and then you are able to treat the person well, the person will tell another person. That guy will also tell the other person that that's so that client will refer you to another client and that client will refer you to another client. So at some point in your career as a graphic designer, you don't even need to look for clients. You will be overwhelmed with a lot of clients because you are doing very well. So if a client comes to you and then he's not able to give you another client, it's either the client is not serious or you are not serious. Because any client that comes into your life as a graphic designer has someone who may need your service as a graphic designer. Make sure you treat the one that you have very well. But they are the ones that are going to tell the other clients, the other client that's oh, this guy is good, this guy is good, and all that. And one of the things that will help you is that you have to communicate like effectively. If you have to deliver in the evening at 5 p.m. and something happens, let's say in Ghana or Nigeria, it's lighthouse and all that issues. So if there's light out, tell them, oh, I don't have lights at the moment. So if I get light, I will do it for you. Or like tell them anything that happens, you maybe you, you, you are doing it and then you get some problems with your laptop, so you, you cannot and meet the deadline let them know before that time because they will be expecting it at that time so if they call you at that time and then you tell them like, um blah blah nah, me, me, my lights went off and this happened no they will not accept that and you're going to lose that sign if you don't take care so that's one thing that you have to matter communication like tell them what is happening in your design like oh i've heard I've this point and you're going to get it by 4 p.m and you have to be a man of your way you don't get it by back 4 p.m they're not going to trust you another time when you tell them you're going to give to them at 6 p.m. So you have to be a man of your word if you want to be a successful graphic designer. So yeah, this is a simplified roadmap for everyone who wants to be a graphic designer this year and master it very well. So if you go through all these things and keep practicing and keep creating and communicate and do all those stuff, you're going to be a very good designer in a few months to come. Until next time, guys, quench not your creativity. Peace.